Hey, this is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. Kevin, how are you today? Matt, great to see you again. Kevin's with uh, Dow Corporation. We've used a lot of your phones over the years, Kevin. And I wanted to take just two minutes to ask Kevin, since I've got him at this uh, trade show, and corner him about the differences between two types of foam that you've seen on my house quite a bit. We've got two foams here, Kevin, both made by Dow. Can you tell me what we're looking at here? Yes, I can. First of all, let's start with this one. This product we call a poly isocyanurate foam sheathing. This next one we call a extruded polystyrene foam sheathing. Now, the primary differences in the two is in its in the chemistry of how they're made. One, this one, the poly isocyanurate, is from the urethane family. This one is from the polystyrene family. The primary difference in its performances, this one has a slightly higher R value. The R value on this product is five per inch. Excuse me, five and a half per inch. The R value on this one is five per inch. So you say, well, what's the difference? That's not much. Well, in certain applications, this product is more suited in moist and wet environments as opposed to this one. Moisture can hurt the R value of an insulation material, so you don't want to use it in an application where it might get wet. Yeah. For instance, cavity walls. Cavity walls can be a moist environment. Cavity walls being below grade? Below grade or even walls where it uh, just has a brick facade over top because water can get behind brick. Mm -hmm. For sure. And if it does, it can wet whatever's behind it. Yep. So I would prefer to have a product like this in a, in a cavity wall application where it might get wet. If this is going to be used and you're going to use it, say, like a good application would be like a wine cellar. Nice, cool, and dry. And it's going to hold its arm value for the life of that product. Yeah. Um, as far as toughness con is concerned, yeah, they're both tough. To they're, they're very, very tough and, uh, and, and can stand up to, to job side abuse. Yeah, it's interesting. If you look at the one inch thick uh, XPS that we have here, very hard to compress. I don't know what the PSI rating on this is. 25. 25. So yep. it's real hard for me just to get a good compression on that. But if you look at the uh, Poly ISO, a little easier to compress. You could actually, uh, you know, put it put a little more job site damage on this. So if you're using this on your job site, which I do quite a bit, um, I like to see a one by furring on top of this, a wood furring, so that when we're putting pressure on this, we're really applying that to a wider face. You also have to be a little more cautious with your trades with poly iso Correct. to make sure you're not dropping a hammer on it or tools because you can you can impact this and it can sustain some damage. Whereas the XPS is a little bit tougher. A little bit more durable so if you've got a lot of trades that are working around it uh, a lot of things happening this this is a better board for that type of application keep the polyurethane dry use the polystyrene in areas where moisture is a challenge or where you're concerned about the potential for moisture uh, getting to the product hey last question I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit here <laughs> what's the rough difference in cost between the two are they as you as you see this through a consumer price or to a builder price are they identical in cost or is there one that's a little bit more expensive than the other historically polyurethanes have been a little bit less in cost but has material prices have changed over time they're running neck and neck so so it's, it's really buyer preference at this point. You're not going to save a lot of money going to one or the other. Yeah. I've seen in my experience that the poly ISO is slightly less expensive than the XPS. But again, I think it really depends on your application. Yes. I've used both successfully. Thank you, Kevin, for your time. I really you appreciate it. Good to see you again. All right, buddy. We'll see you All next right. time.